In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a broken screen on an iPod Classic, either first to fourth, fifth generation hard drive based iPod. As you can see, this uh, screen is smashed, it's destroyed. What I want to do is, I'm going to be removing this screen from the main board, and then I'm going to be replacing it with another screen. So, Let's start by removing the screen from the main board. The screen is connected with a ribbon cable, a very short ribbon cable. Right here. My thumb is going over. Now all you have to do is basically pull it out of here, but before you do that, you can see this pin socket right here. There's a pin socket. Right where my thumb is pointing to. Now right above it, you see the white area? There's a bar over here. There's a black thing going across. That's a clip. You have to just lift it up. See the tip of my finger, the tip of my thumb? Actually use the, use the tip of your finger, fingernail, and just See? See where it's going? Up, down, up, down, my finger. Take your fingernail and push. Like that. See? Just push that thing down. Then you'll, it'll expose a bunch of silver pins. Then all you have to do, after that clip, that black clip, is pushed up, you can just pull the screen right out of the main board. Watch. See? Like that. Now I'm going to install the new screen into the main board. All you have to do is just slide it in. Like so. It goes right into the groove. And then all you got to do is once that's snug, just push the clip down. And that clamps it so it's nice and tight. And that's how you install a new screen into your main board. Now if you want to know how to remove this main board and the screen, And how I got to this point, I uh, refer to my other video on how to replace the click wheel on your iPod. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Any comments, please leave them below the video. And thank you for tuning in.